This is how you construct for our field, the mobile goals. You're gonna take one of these parts, screw both of them together to make this circular shape. You take it, put it right on the bottom here, right at the end. You wanna make sure it's at the end. So if you have to disassemble, you can get into the screws easier to take it off. Take one of these big, big pole boys, shove it in there like that. Usually you're gonna take a rubber mallet. You have to take it, hammer it in. That causes enough tension for this to fold out and this to hold in place. With no slippage coming up. And that's how you construct the mobile goal. This is how you construct the top part of the mobile goals. I went and pre-assembled this piece. I just loosely put in all the screws around it. So now we're just gonna slide all the pieces in place. And now we're gonna go ahead and tighten them. And on one of these, which I will show, you are going, we'll actually just do it for this one. To make the tall mobile goal, you put a second long piece in here and have a second one of these at the top. We are constructing the top part of the mobile goal now. And it is important to note that you don't want to fully tighten these screws or these screws because this will be too tight and it will not slide in. But because we have them loose, it'll slide right in. So now you just have to go and tighten those. A uh, pre-assembled top piece, which you put up here, and you want these to face the opposite direction of what these are facing. And then you can go and slide in these pieces. And then tighten it. It is important that when you put the stickers on, that you put them inside these outlines. There, you can, you really can't see them, but you can feel them. The stickers need to go in there because this needs to line up with the middle of the sticker. Here, and then over here, it lines up in, with the middle of the sticker. That is important to do when you are setting up the mobile. We are assembling the base of the scoring platform. And I've gone ahead and I put in two one inch standoffs. This connects the base to the wall of the field. And then these connect the base together and you just screw them in in the hexagon shaped holes. And now I'm going to go and connect them. And you just kind of, you got to line them up right to get them in and then There we go. And then now you just get your screws and screw it in and you're all set up. Now we are assembling the connector of the base and the platform. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab these size standoffs. And you'll know if you have the right size because they should fit just about perfect. Not perfect. There will be a little bit of overhang, but that's how they should fit. And then um, you'll just you'll have those in there. You'll slide it into here, line it up with that hole, and screw it in. And you're gonna want to do this on both sides, which I will demonstrate in a second. Now I'm assembling the other side and you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. Take the same size standoff and put it in your second, one of these pieces. And then line it up with the hole and then screw it in. We are connecting the connector to the base and you're gonna to want to make sure it is on the right side of the standoffs. That one. And then you're gonna take your lock nuts and slide them in and then you're going to put your screws in but at this step you're not going to want to screw them all the way in you're just going to want to get them to stay in like that will be good enough tip in tipping it back will get it into place easier And now you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing to this side. Flip it around. Right. 
No, no, that we still have nuts in here. You're gonna wanna make sure you still have that. And now you just slide this onto that and then tighten it down. Now we're working on the other side. The side that we were just tightening is fully tightened down. And for this side, we should just bang the screws in like that. And now we can tighten it down. Now we have fully connected the connecting piece to the base. So we are getting ready to attach the second base part to the floor. And the instruction manual says to use these plates. We have bigger plates that are we are choosing to use, and they work the same as long as you line them up in the same spots where you have that standoff coming through on this hole, which is two and a half mat pieces out. So as long as it's coming out there, you'll be fine. The next step you want to take you're going to want to put this piece in but you can notice the top side is a little bit thicker than the bottom side and you want the thick side down so when you put it on the thick side down you're going to want to put it on and leave about a quarter of a space on the close side and three-fourths of the space on the far side and then you just go ahead and not tighten it down all the way we're going to put it on loosely so we still have a good amount of wiggle room and then we're going to take the base and we already went and attached the standoffs into the hexagon hole where the standoffs are supposed to be slide it in and it, it'll slide right in now is the point where you want to get it a little bit tighter And now that it's tight, you're gonna wanna take the second part of the base, slide it in, and just gotta do a little bit of maneuvering here to get the hexagon holes lined up. And then you're gonna wanna screw them in on this side. So put your screw in there, and then just tighten it. Next, we are connecting the part that the platform sits to the part that tips the platform and when you start that you're going to want to take these standoffs and put them in these holes and then pull them in and connect this bar by screwing it in Once you get all four screwed in, this is what it looks like. And then you just set it atop of this. Do not screw it in yet because the platform sits atop of this and it screws in all three pieces at once. So do not screw it in yet. Now we are constructing the part that holds up the edges of the platform. And the first step you're gonna wanna do is to make sure you have two of these that are longer in the same size and one that is shorter. We'll take the one that is shorter, connect these pieces into the sides. And that's all you do. They just sit in there. There is no connecting to do for them. And then you slide the bigger pieces on the end. Next, you take your plastic. There's already cut out holes and you just want to line it up. You then screw it in and you do this for both sides of each platform. Okay, so for this part, we recommend two people having one person to slide the part in and one person to hold and assemble it. And for this, you want to make sure you start with the side that is not bolted down. See how this side is not bolted down? You're gonna to want to go that side first. And when you put your screws in, bolt it all the way 
here. So we'll go and do that now. Now that we've attached the first side of the platform, we will attach the second side of the platform. And uh, a note on this one is that it only screws in to this part. You do not screw it in down here, which you did over here, and you do not do it on this side. So we'll go ahead and slide it in. And then now, screw it in the same way that you did the other side. Now, when it'll come out, and you'll just hold a lock screw up here, and then tighten it, and you'll be good. Now that the platform building is complete, you take these black plastic pieces and slide in to connect the platforms together. They're a little difficult, so you just have to mess with them for a second, but you'll get them. You just make sure they go all the way down. One note for installing this side of the platform is that this screw length is too long because it sticks out the bottom. So you have to use a length one shorter than this and they are about that long. They will fit in perfectly. We are now going to install the platform into the field. The platform should be in the middle of the last row. There are six blocks, so it is in the third from the left and the third from the right. So now we're just gonna maneuver it and lock the squares into place. The final step of installing the platform into the field is screwing in the standoffs to the field itself. So the standoffs should be lined up with these holes if you did the last step correctly. And now you'll just simply put a screw to the field hole and screw it in to the standoff. Now that you've installed the platforms, the next step is to put the tape on the field and you just get strands of tape and put them down in these places. This piece of tape is two blocks over and the entire width of the field. This tape is halfway across the second block over and it connects with this line. These lines are in the middle but they are offset a little bit from each side. So there should be about a line of tape width in between the two lines. This line is a mirror image of the other side, except the corner piece is at the top and not the bottom. Now that you have taped your field, you want to set up the field elements. And the goals, the three goals will go on the middle line with the two smaller goals being on the edges and the taller goal being in the center. Now color specific goals, one will go in the middle of the diagonal piece of tape on each side. The second color goal will go to the left of that color scoring platform as you can see there with the blue and here with the red. The rings, the first setup of rings is along the main line and they go in a group of four, three, three, four. Now the ends will have a branching off towards the mobile goal on each side of four rings connecting to the corner of the angle tape and the straight line. That will be on both sides. Then the final ring element is the plus shaped ring arrangements one being in the middle, in between the platform and the tall wall. And they are always going to be to the left. If you're standing looking at the platform, you'll have one in the middle and one to the left. It is the same from the other side. That concludes the tutorial for setting up the 2021-2022 VEX VRC Challenge Field Tipping Point. We really hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.